The Pima Air and Space Museum, located in Tucson, Arizona, is one of the world's largest non-government funded aerospace museums. The museum features a display of nearly 300 aircraft spread out over 80 acres square meters on a campus occupying 127 acres square meters. It has also been the home to the Arizona Aviation Hall of Fame since 1991. Overview A large number of the museum's aircraft are displayed outside with the remainder located in one of the museum's four display hangars. In addition to the display hangars, the museum has a restoration hangar, opened to the public in May 1976 with 48 aircraft then on display. The museum's main hangar houses an SR 71A Blackbird, an A 10 Warthog, a United States Air Force through the years exhibit, and a mock up of a control tower. The museum is adjacent to Davis Monthan Air Force Base. The 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group AMARG, affiliated with the base, also known as the Graveyard of Planes or the Boneyard, is the largest aircraft storage and preservation facility in the world. Bus tours of the Boneyard leave from the museum several times a day from Monday to Friday, except federal holidays. The nearby Titan Missile Museum is located about 20 miles south of Tucson in Green Valley off of Interstate 19 and features a Titan II intercontinental ballistic missile still in its silo. Tours of the above ground and underground installations around the missile are conducted daily. More extensive, top to bottom, tours take up to five hours and are conducted several times each month. Reservations are required for a top-to-bottom tour. Both museums are overseen by the Arizona Aerospace Foundation and are governed by the Board of Trustees. They are a non-profit 501 organization that rely on visitors paying admissions, for trams and AMARG tours, as well as what they spend in the museum stores. They also rely on memberships and contracted events to pay to restore and acquire exhibits. History The museum opened to the public on May 8, 1976. In early 1982 the first hangar on the site was completed. A second was built in 1987, a third in 1992, and a fourth in 1994. In 2012, the museum collaborated with artists, in the Boneyard Project, to place some abandoned aircraft on display as canvases for art. During 2015, Boeing donated to the museum the second 787 aircraft to be built. It is exhibited in the colors of the 787 customer, Anna. In November 2016, Orbis International donated the first McDonnell Douglas DC 10 Flying Eye Hospital to the museum, after receiving a second DC 10 from FedEx. The DC 10, which was the oldest flying example of its type at the time of its donation, is being restored for display at Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Selected aircraft on display Out of a collection of 300 aircraft, these are the most prominent Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress Boeing B-29 Superfortress The first to fly Boeing 777-200 Consolidated B-24 Liberator Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird Martin PBM Mariner North American F-107 See also List of aerospace museums Pinal Air Park Ralph S. Johnson, an aviation pioneer who donated a Lockheed PV-2 to the museum.